Within this lesson, we'll explain fraction equivalence using a tape diagram and the number line, and relate that to the use of multiplication and division. Here we have a tape diagram and also a number line. You'll notice that we are separating our number line and tape diagram within those same spots. Let's go ahead and label each of these number lines with those fractions that is shown in the tape diagram. So if we concentrate on the tape diagram, well, it looks like this is between 0 and 1 here, and we have divided this into four parts, and we have shaded three of these parts. So we're looking at this fraction right here of 3 fourths, of 3 fourths. And then so we're talking about force. So here is 3 fourths. Like I said, we started at 0. And since we're talking about force, we will count by force. 1 fourth. Another fourth is 2 fourths. So we have 1 fourth here, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, and 1 more fourth would be 4 fourths, or that whole number 1. So I've labeled each of those number lines. And so 3 fourths is the fraction that is shown on the tape diagram, and I'll circle that for the number line. Here I have another fraction bar, and here I've started our number line in between our whole numbers 0 and 1, and we separate that into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 parts. So into 8 parts, we're talking about eighths, and then so we can count by eighths to label our number line. 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths, 4 eighths, 5 eighths. I'll circle that because that's what the tape diagram is showing, and then I'll also finish labeling the rest of my number line. 6 eighths, then 7 eighths, another eighth is 8 eighths, which is also equal to 1. Okay, it's your turn. Can you go ahead and complete the number line to indicate the fraction shown by this tape diagram? Pause the video while you do your work. We are again in between 0 and 1. And in this case, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we are talking about fifths. So we have 1 fifth, 2 fifths, 3 fifths, 4 fifths. And we will circle 3 fifths. Here we're asked to decompose 1 half into four equal parts using a number line. It's a new type of problem. We'll draw our number line first, and then we'll record those whole numbers. Zero. And in this case, we'll record one as well, because we know one half is in between zero and one. In fact, it's halfway in between. So that's why we'll go ahead and mark that there. We have one half. And Next, it's saying to decompose that one half. Okay, here's one half. Decompose it into four equal parts. Okay, so to get four equal parts in between zero and a half, I'll have to draw three lines. This would actually look very similar to our tape diagram, in which case, with it being a half, I'd have to draw three lines for that section there, for that half there, and also three lines for that section there. So that I end up getting, let's see, I would end up getting 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I would end up getting 8s. Let's label it then. So 1 half does equal 4 eighths. And then let's label it like I was saying. 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths, and then the next one would be 4 eighths, or 1 half, or 1 half. So I've decomposed 1 half into 4 equal parts there. 1 half does equal 1 eighth, plus 1 eighth, plus 1 eighth, plus 1 eighth, which does equal 4 eighths. That's 4 times an eighth, which does equal 4 eighths. If I was to write that using multiplication, where I multiply the numerator and denominator by the same thing, I'm putting it into four equal parts, so that's why I'm multiplying by four, not only in the numerator, but also in the denominator. One half does equal four eighths. Okay, here we're asked to decompose one third into two equal parts. Let's draw a number line. We'll mark zero and one. Let's see. It does say two equal parts here, but it actually says one-third, where we're decomposing one-third. That's why we'll first separate it into three equal parts. One, two, and three. That's one-third, and another third, which is two-thirds, and another third, which would be one. Let's label that. And next, think how we're going to decompose it into two equal parts. Well, let's see. Here's it, meaning one-third, and to decompose it into two equal parts, I'll just go ahead and draw a line right there. So, let's see. This is one, two, three, four, five, and six. So, I am now talking about six, and that would be one-six. Two-six does equal one-third. Next is three-six. Four six and five six. So I've labeled that, and you'll see right here is where I've taken one third and decomposed it into those two equal parts. One third does equal one six plus one six, which does equal two six. So we had 2, 6, and I can even use my division, 2 divided by 2, and 6 divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. Here we're asked to write a number sentence for 1 third equals 4 twelfths, and we're also asked to use a number line. So let's draw that number line in between 0 and 1. And then, so first we're talking about thirds. So let's see. Thirds, we'll go ahead and draw two lines there to divide it into three parts. And let's mark that. That's one-third and two-thirds. And one would be three-thirds. Zero would be zero-thirds. Next, we're asked to go to twelfths. To go from one to four, you would multiply by four. And to go from three to twelve, you'd also multiply by four. So we're taking a third and breaking it apart into four parts by drawing three lines. And we'll do so right within our figure. So now we're talking about twelfths. One twelfth, two twelfths, three twelfths, four twelfths, five twelfths, six twelfths, seven twelfths, eight twelfths, etc. So let's write that out. Starts at zero twelfths, ends at twelve twelfths, and we have a twelfth along the way. One twelfth, two twelfths, Three twelfths and one third does equal four twelfths, five twelfths, six twelfths, seven twelfths, eight twelfths, which equals two thirds, nine twelfths, ten twelfths, and eleven twelfths. Eleven twelfths being right there, ten twelfths being right there, nine twelfths being right there. 
So writing our number sentence, we have 4 twelfths equals 4 divided by 4, and 12 divided by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 12 divided by 4 is 3. So that we have 4 of those twelfths, 1 twelfths, 2 twelfths, 3 twelfths, 4 twelfths, and when we divide it by 4, we have 1 of those 3 groups of 4 that is shaded in. So that 4 twelfths equals 1 third. Just like within the area model, we're composing units to make that larger set. So within this lesson, we continued to use number lines to be able to show fractions. And in doing so, we were composing them and decomposing them using multiplication and division sentences to support our work.